I know what you're saying. What the heck is that? <laughs> well, this, this is an oil pan, okay? And if you notice, it's got grooves cut in it, okay? And so those grooves was something that our race team came up with. This is about 12 years ago. Okay, we're in a room and we're all talking about it. I got the smartest people in the world talking about this oil pan. And here was the conclusion. Yeah, let's put it on our cars. NASCAR is not gonna care, <laughs> okay? And that was the final conclusion. We go to Loud, New Hampshire the next day. I get the phone call. All of our cars are jacked up. NASCAR is freaking out. They're going nuts. And they're taking the oil pans off and we're getting all kinds of criticism. We're getting penalties. And so I'm going so distraught. So on the way home, I turn on Sirius Radio. The very first guy that came on there, here's what he said. That Joe Gibbs, he's a cheating, no good. <laughs> and so I'm going through all this saying, good gracious. So I go to Loudon the next day, feeling sorry for myself. I always remember I was kind of standing out on pit road and it kind of came to me. I said, both things I've been in, football and racing, I can't control a lot of things. In football, you have balls bouncing, fumbles, people getting hurt. I come over here to racing, I can't control a lot of this stuff. And so I'm thinking to myself and feeling sorry for myself. And about that point, it dawned on me. And I said, shut up, <laughs> okay? God's got you right where you're supposed to be. See, I wasn't, God didn't want me in some place where I had everything organized and I could control everything. He's put me in two things where what? I can't control and there can be a lot of adversity at times that I'm going through. Maybe you in your life, maybe you're going through some adversity. Well, I, I always think back to another time that it, this really meant something to me. Charles Stanley had this in his series on adversity. And basically what it was, a little diagram. So you have us over here, the person, looking through a mountain of adversity. And what he says is this, when these things happen in our life and adversity happens in our life, we need to concentrate as God's men and women to look in through the adversity, knowing that on the other side, there's gonna be rewards. Isn't that truthful? Many times in life, it's not gonna be easy. We're gonna have things we can't control. Maybe you're going through some of those things right now. The thing for us, if we're on God's team and we belong to him, then we know God knows everything in our life we can reach out to him through prayer and Bible study. And an all-powerful God is going to walk through all this adversity with us. And we know what? There's rewards on the other side. So maybe this is the time that you find yourself in this situation, like I was, standing out on that pit road getting ready for a race. And really, I said... Hey, God's got me right where he wants me. And I need to walk through adversity the right way. And I'd be willing to try and encourage you to do the exact same thing. All right, the key to that is being on God's team. Making sure we're on God's team so we hook on to that power. How do we do that? God has said, if we just pray a little sinner's prayer that I'm gonna pray in a minute, meaning it in your heart. He will come into your life, forgive you of your sins, and be your Lord and personal Savior. So if anybody has any question about whose team they're on, let's pray this little prayer with me right now. Father, I know that I'm a sinner. I know that you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to this earth. He lived a perfect life. You allowed him to go to that cross and be crucified on that cross taking my sins with him so I could have forgiveness of sin. 
I ask you to come into my life, forgive me of my sins, and be my Lord and personal Savior. Is that great or what? Please find the link on this post and visit GamePlanForLife.com. Now on that website, everything there is free. A free book, if you choose a book. We've got tracks that you can take and give away, or we have a New Testament study Bible I've been using for about 40 years that's got 14 great little topics in it. Any of those things, it's all free, and thank you for joining me.